Welcome back, this is Yamajack Tries Moonlighter, an action RPG with roguelite-ish elements. Uh, available for $22.79 Canadian on Steam, probably like $19.99 American. We will hop right on into the recommended difficulty here. Let's see how this goes. Among the stars at night, there's a land as old as imagination. One night, mazes full of extraordinary treasures and deadly creatures appeared in this land. They called them the dungeons, strange, ever-changing ruins of unknown lands. Soon, a village of the slightly curious took root near the dungeons. This they named Rhinoka. Among the settlers, two groups shined brightest heroes and merchants, glory and riches. But the dungeons proved too dangerous. They were soon closed as too many lives were lost in their depths. Life became hard for the town, especially for the young owner of the oldest shop, Will of Moonlighter. Long dreaming of opening the mysterious fifth door of the dungeons. Loading dot dot dot. Loading dot dot dot. Loading dot dot dot. Loading dot dot dot. I gotta say, the story's a little bit strange. Uh, no, the story's fine. It's just a joke. Uh, so we play as Will, the uh, the merchant who is setting out to uh, adventure on his own since uh, nobody else is doing it for him at this point in time, I suppose. We can dodge with left trigger. I'm using a controller, by the way. Have no other controls. Currently, anyway. Yeah, I've uh, already already learned. Thank you. Oh, we can dodge past this kind of stuff. That's pretty cool, eh? Also, it seems like there's some kind of Logitech implementation. Yeah, there totally is. I'm killing myself on purpose here. When I kill myself, my mouse flashes. Looks like, uh... There's some kind of Logitech. We could probably dodge past them, though. Um, Logitech implementation of some sort. Which is cool. Oh, we have a... We have a... We have... We have... We have, we have weapon... Yeah, I'm, I'm, when I take damage, my, my mouse flashes. I don't know if that's intentional or not. But it's, uh... Definitely a thing, anyway. It's doing it. One way or the other, whether good or not. Like to use uh okay, so right trigger to use a potion. We have uh, you can see the number of potions we have in the top right currently. You can see them better than I can, because I have stuff kinda chilling out on top of them. So X is just kinda guard maybe? I don't know. I think we have to kill these, maybe. God, there's like a lot of stuff, though, dude. Okay, so you want to kind of like attack and then dodge, dude. My god, we're going to chug a couple of potions there. Um, So we're like in a pretty bad situation here, yeah? In a, in a pretty, pretty untenable situation to be sure I don't I don't think that these things can I think this is a, uh, a guaranteed death I think this is a uh, you're supposed to die kind of situation I'm not gonna let them do that to me, okay I don't know when I when I think that they're trying to kill me you know I'm gonna let it happen this is definitely a situation where you're supposed to die they're teaching you about death is the uh, is what's happening there and that's okay dude I have seen this game played before. I believe Northern Lion had a series on it, perhaps. Um, not sure, but I have I have memories of this game anyway. Haven't played it. What a sorry looking kid, all alone now. Rest for a bit, will I have you now? So far, it's pretty good though. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. Yeah, I believe Northern played this song. Maybe on a Yamcheck tries or something. <laughs> Northern Lion tries, rather. 
He doesn't. He doesn't do the. He doesn't. He doesn't do the Amajack tries. I do the Amajack tries. Even as a mere child, barely able to walk, you're curious of the dungeons. Look at all these notes, dude. There's no doubt you carry the same obsession as old Pete. Morning, boy. Did our little merchant bite off more than he could manage? No, sir. Well, listen to me. The hard truth is this. You are the last of your family, the only one left to run Moonlighter. You can't keep pushing yourself like this. Risking your life on this fifth door nonsense is foolish. Just leave it. Find some artifacts, then use your pendant to get out of the dungeon. And as for Crater's sake, stop using that broom of yours, you daft boy. It's too dangerous to go alone. Take this. It's mine from back in the day. Use it. I have little need for it now. A sword and a shield. Now then, get up. You're wasting light. Can't have you neglect the shop all day. Let's see if I can get you through your head. Let's get, see if I can get through your head. Let's see if I can get through your hard head some of the tricks that I picked up from your grandfather so many, many years ago. It's cute, dude. I like the, uh, I'm liking the feeling of this place so far. Successfully selling your merchandise takes knowledge of two things. You must know its value and its demand. Come on now. Open the shop up and allow customers in. Open. Buy it, dude. Yeah. See that best expression you can hope for. The item wasn't too expensive for them and not so cheap for you to lose profit. Be sure to pay attention to your customers' expressions. That's how your grandfather always knew if his prices were fair. Okay. This price is not fair. He's gonna be mad. I don't think I need to tell you how that item was obviously overpriced. Lesson learned? Yeah, can I go reprice it? Selling too much, you flood the market, you will have to offer cheaper prices on your wares. Point is, charge higher when someone is in high demand and in low supply. Take out your merchant notebook, control all information you have discovered on wares and artifacts and things. Selling and reactions. We have, uh... I have no ability to maneuver here currently, by the way. So, would you... It seems the sun has fallen for the day. I best head off. You will pick up on your own. Restoring this shop to its full glory. That responsibility falls to you, not I. It's in your blood. We'll make us proud. In the meantime, why don't you try out that new sword of yours? Dungeons are more perilous at night, but one can always find better artifacts. Just don't dive too far and use that pendant, boy. Will do, boss. Will do. Go on. Now these weary bones of mine must get some rest. Now, where is the dungeon? So, shields... Sword. Yeah, so it is It is block. That's cool. It's expected, but... Uh, people of Rhinoca are so accustomed to culture artifacts from the dungeons, they have become part of our daily lives, even part of our food. Sounds good, dude. Where do you think they put the dungeons? Probably up here, right? Probably. Yee. Yeah. So we have currently, like, this door unlocked, I suppose. Enter. I'm getting some vibrations all over my uh, controller right now. Cool. So this is the, uh, the map there. Okay, so we can, uh, we don't have to do just one hit, we can actually hit multiple times, should we so deign to do so? So? Okay, so your attack is very simple, I see. Two hits. And then you're out of there, dude. Good riddance. One. One. Okay, so I can, like, yeah. Why are you... Block, 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 block. Cool. Okay. That's that's very very highly acceptable. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Can't do anything over here. I mean maybe we could dive. <laughs> I don't know. Perhaps. Ooh. 
To a person of hopefully far better luck than I, my time is short. I took injury from the strange creature across the room. My pendant all but scattered from the scuffle. Check him out, though I'd say he f I fared better than he. He caught me spying on him near the guardian's room. He dropped a couple items when he fled, one of which is this map, diagram, whatever it is. I was right, they called me crazy, said old crazy peak, done, gone, lost his marbles, but I was right. Each guardian of a dungeon must possess a key of sorts, all of them linked to that giant locked door outside the dungeons, the fifth door of Rhinoka. Sadly, I won't be around to see the door open. Whoever found me, I apologize for the smell, but the diagram should be around here somewhere. Please, open the fifth door of Rhinoka. These dungeons are not what they seem. Yoink. Big Boss is going to kill me. I suppose to let them all out. Now I have to chase this weird creature that stole my stuff. Ah, Big Boss is going to be so upset with little me. Sounds good, dude. I would like out of this, though. Nice. Tell you what we're not gonna do. Let's use the pendant. <laughs> no, thank you. Okay, we're gonna use the pendant. As it turns out, the pendant gets used. Go to town. Yeah, there's definitely some kind of logic deck in implementation here, because my mouse is like RGB is doing all kinds of crazy stuff here. It's neat. It's neat, dude. Ah, the young proprietor of Moonlighter has returned. You look intact. Finally learned to use that pendant properly. It's about time, boy. What are you holding? Is that a chart of the dungeons? Where did you get this? You you found old Pete? Dead. See, this is what happens when you chase what's behind that door. Leave it, Will. Just get the artifacts you need from the Golem Dungeon and look after Moonlighter. Now, I noticed some posts on that town board that may interest you. Some shops want to move in. Attempt to revitalize the town. Apparently, they need some startup capital first. Would be nice to see some new life in Ryoka. Rhinoka. Would be nice indeed. You're right, it would be fairly nice. Let's go check it out. Uh, town. So we can, like, invest gold and then get a forge if we have money. We do not have money. We have 100 gold. So we can't afford them, but uh, soon, perhaps. Let's place uh, one of these. Like, as many of them as we can. over here for um I don't know like 50 50 sound good to you maybe I don't know dude uh, let's actually put something else in there as well we're gonna put this sure some twigs for 50? 50 is kind of my, my starting price for all this kind of stuff. And uh, 50 for you as well. Like, I'm, I'm imagining that's that's a little bit high. Oh, it's for the stack, eh? I don't want to sell the whole stack at once, but... Mm, I don't know. Sure, whatever, dude. <laughs> whatever, dude. Whatever, man. Uh, so we've got... Let's take a look at... What have we got? We got like probably like the, the very top. Just a whole bunch of garbage, really, is what we got. No, I don't know. Mm, nothing. Okay, so here we go. Teeth stones... Probably not worth much, honestly, right? Like, they're probably worth, like, almost nothing, right? Let's, let's, let's change this price. I don't know, whatever, dude. Who cares? Who cares? Don't worry about it so much. Just, just do it and see how, see what happens, okay? Just do it and see what happens, right? Like, what's, 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 what, what, what else can you ask for? I don't suspect it'll work. I don't suspect they're gonna want these twigs and stuff. <laughs> Probably, right? Want some wet stones for an exorbitant price? Probably none of that stuff is, is well priced, right? Yes. So sticks, fifty each. Far too expensive. How about ten each? Probably. You know what? We'll, we'll move this to, to twenty, and we'll move this to twenty as well. How's that feel? 
Ooh, okay. You're into it. This is too expensive. These, these, too expensive. Okay, move that down to 10. Sticks, 10, too expensive. Okay, five. Whetstones for 10 each. A little bit too cheap, a little bit too cheap. But you know what? I'll take the money anyway. Hey, five each for the, uh, for the sticks is pretty good. We're gonna have to raise the price on the whetstones and the other thing. That we're closed. Thanks for stopping by. We're closed. I'm out of things to sell. I'm not out of things to sell, but we're gonna... You know what? That's pretty good. I'm gonna go do another dungeon run, though. I need more supplies. I, mean, I don't really. I need to sell more stuff. I should have put more stuff. Whatever. It doesn't matter, dude. It doesn't matter. I'm gonna hop right on in here, and we're gonna go. Uh, we're gonna go to a town. We're gonna murder some stuff. See how it goes. See how it goes. Now this is the first real dungeon exploration mission that we're doing, I believe. Previously we'd uh, we'd done a dungeon exploration, but it wasn't a real dungeon exploration. It was the Sort of, I should probably not stand here, right? It wasn't real. It was fake. It was the tutorial showing us how to use the pendant. And this is the first real dungeon exploration. I know your attacks. That's, that's painful, dude. That's painful. You have to go. Ooh, a crit. Oh! What the heck was that, dude? I don't know what the heck that was, but I liked it. Um, artifact must be placed at the top or bottom of your bag. Okay, so like here then. Uh, and then this one has to be placed at the bottom of the bag. So like there. Sure. Let's continue a little bit. I want to see what kind of stuff we got chilling out down here. Why? Why do our tools keep disappearing? Chambers full of precious stone are left untouched, but rooms and chests holding our most basic tools keep vanishing. He's our first boss, I suppose. Oh my! I've learned them. Not learned them. Learned them. Not learned them. But I mean, like, kind of did, right? Let's play again. <laughs> Let's play again. I like the roguelike part of it. The uh, shop stuff is, is, is interesting, you know? But... I'm here for the for the rogue like elements personally. I like these quite a lot, honestly. Feels good. You know, a lot of roguelikes don't do it well, and and that's definitely not the case for for these ones, or for this one. It's, uh, it's done a uh, fantastic job, I would say. Hello. Placed at the bottom. Water lamp. Okay. Brighter bag. Sounds good, dude. Eh. The the inventory management is is a little bit finicky. Uh, it's gonna take a bit to get used to that, but we're not gonna be playing it long enough to get used to it. So. Teddy marks my first steps into these mysterious dungeons. They were discovered not far from Rhinoko, a small and incredibly charming village just north of the crater. And they are quite a unique occurrence. Any number of adventurers may enter a dungeon at once, but no one will adventure together. These dungeons seem to build themselves around the one entering. A unique maze for each person. Never the same labyrinth twice. Ah, uh, cool, dude. Sounds good. You know, you have fun with your existential dread. I am going to go slaughter a golem boss.
Probably, maybe. I don't know. Hopefully. Hey, it's mine. Okay, it's all mine. Mine, 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 mine. Well, that was stupid. Golden boss should be somewhere over here then, I suppose. Probably, right? I mean, there is no other option, so... Should be this way. Somewhere, anyway. Let's kill this guy. Then murder this dude. And this dude. And then work our way back. Yeah, and then go check out that chest with artifacts and stuff. Uh, fabric must be placed at the top or bottom of the bag. Um... Uh, top or bottom of the bag. There you go, buddy. Enjoy. I know it's yelling at me to go and... Pendant out of here, but like, I'm killing this boss, okay? You understand me? Quick. I understand this fight. And I understand the, uh... Much that I died to him, uh, I do understand the golem fight as well. It's just a matter of uh, doing it right. <laughs> it's kind of true of everything, right? Just do it right and then uh, you're done, right? But genuinely, I think I'm capable. Oh, you're fast. Can I stand in this stuff? Sort of, yeah. Sure. Right of the bag. Sounds good, dude. And pop or bottom. Top, bottom it is. Enjoy. Enjoy sitting at the bottom of the bag. I would like out of here, please. But this is going to work just fine. Yeah. Yeah, 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 your tools keep disappearing, dude. It's like so sad. It's so sad. Your tools, they just. They were there one moment, and then, like, the next moment, they were, like, just not there anymore, dude. This guy's no problem whatsoever. Flawless. Easy game. Easy game. Okay, I want uh, some of that stuff over the, the twigs, honestly. The twigs. I don't care about them. And you know what else I don't care about is uh, one single teeth stone. Those are 100 gold each, those things, you know? It's pretty significant. Check out the next floor, and then, uh... Yeah, I'm just gonna get out of here. <laughs> uh, cause we are... Done. Oh, we have to get back to town and stuff. We're done. That's the end of the Ambush exercise. This game is, is... It feels good, and it's fun, and I like it. Okay, this is, this is genuinely a really, really fun game. I could see this coming back. Definitely, even in like a long-term series on like Gunfire Reborn slot or something like that in the future, but like that's far in the future, so probably find something else at some point. Anyway, uh, this has been Moonlighter. It is available for twenty-two seventy-nine Canadian on Steam. It's probably like nineteen ninety-nine American. It's uh, it's cute. It's fun. I love it. This this game hits hits me in all the right places and uh, hits all the right buttons. Is I believe the right <laughs> term for that. Uh, anyway, it's a fun game. Big ol' thumbs up. If I had a webcam, you'd see a big ol' thumbs up. Because I'm thumbsing up. You can't see it, though, so it's really pointless. But the thumb is up. Anyway, thanks for watching. Remember to like the video if you like it. Subscribe to see more in the future. Comment if you have anything to say. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.